Hey, what's up guys, you're here with Bora from Pink Dogs and thank you for joining me here for your free picks from Spanish La Liga on Sunday, February 5th. Uh, we got four games on the schedule guys in La Liga on Sunday and uh, Barcelona is playing, Real Madrid is playing and Sevilla is playing as well. Uh, so make sure you check this out guys, make sure you, know, you hit that like button and of course uh, subscribe to the Pink Dogs YouTube channel so you get all those free picks that we put out daily. There's a lot of them from all over the... The, the board, all, all, all the other sports like basketball, NBA, uh, football and, and stuff like that. So check it out, guys. Uh, we are kicking off La Liga on uh, Sunday with this matchup between Mallorca and Real Madrid, guys. Uh, it doesn't happen often that we are getting such a good money line price on, on, on Real Madrid. And uh, I think we should take advantage of that because even though Mallorca has been... Uh, has had some solid results as of late. They have won three of their last six games. However, they lost the other three. Uh, they are not scoring a lot of goals overall this season. Only 15 in 19 games. However, their defense has been spot on with only 18 conceded goals. Real Madrid on the other side is pretty much a goal scoring machine. Uh, they, are, they average two scored goals per game just over that. And uh, on the road, actually, they are scoring more than they are scoring at home. Uh, their defense is solid both at home and on the road and they're coming off of a nice win against uh, uh, Valencia. It was 2-0 for them. Uh, just before that they tied to Real Sociedad. Uh, while before that they've beaten Atletico Madrid in Copa del Rey. Uh, Mallorca, like I said, uh, is having a very hard time winning games on the road. But at home they are pretty solid. They have kept two clean sheets in a row in their two last home games. And... Uh, they are now facing one of the best teams in Spain, if not the best. So, uh, it's not going to be an easy task for Mallorca to get a positive result out of this game. And I don't think they can, to be honest. Real Madrid is playing well. They are they are heating up and they are looking like that old Real Madrid from last season. Which is why I'm going to take advantage of this great price we are getting, guys. And I'm going to take Real Madrid on the money line at minus 134. I think it's a great pick. I think it's a great price. And uh, should be a very exciting matchup. In the next game, guys, Girona is hosting Valencia, and we have two very struggling teams right now, especially Valencia, who, even after firing their head coach, uh, they could not get a positive result. Uh, they lost to Real Madrid. Luckily for them, uh, Girona is also on a losing streak right now. They lost their last two games uh, to Villarreal and Barcelona. It was 1-0 in both of those games. And uh, these, these are two teams uh, that are not producing much in that attacking end, uh, at least not at the moment, because uh, they have been solid in the first half of the season, but uh, with the defenses they have right now, I think that uh, I honestly don't know which side to lead here. Uh, Valencia hasn't been scoring goals on the road, uh, Girona has been scoring at home, but they have also been conceding at home, and their current form is not uh, really helping them right now. When we look at the injury report, uh, both teams are missing a few key players uh, due to suspensions or, or, or injuries. And uh, for that reason, guys, I think that uh, potentially both teams see this game as a chance to get a point or, or all three out of it. Which is why I'm going to take both teams to score at minus 122. If either of these two teams teams wants to snap out of their losing streak, they have to score a goal and uh, they have to go for it, to be honest. Like I said, I think that both of them see this game as a potential uh, spot to get a point uh, and uh, in that in mind, they will have to attack for that to happen. So I'm taking both teams to score at minus 122. I also see that guys is hosting Valladolid in this game and uh, they are pretty big favorites here as they should be because they have been on an amazing run. Uh, but right now, they haven't won any of their last two games. They did lose against uh, Barcelona in Copa del Rey. However, they were able to, to uh, keep Real Madrid at bay in their latest uh, La Liga matchup last week. Uh, Real Sociedad is a much, much better team here. Valladolid has had a few positive results as of late. Uh, actually, only one, to be honest. That was in their last game against Valencia, which they won. But uh, they have only one win on their own so far this season, alongside one draw and seven losses. And uh, they do not have a lot of depth, and uh, they do have a few injured players and, uh, and a suspended player as well. Now, Real Sociedad on the other side also has a lot of injuries. And they have had those injuries for a while now. Uh, they are kind of used to it. Uh, 
and uh, with each player coming back, this team is getting more more depth, they're getting more width, and uh, they are playing better and better, uh, which I think that this is a very, very good spot for El Sociedad to get back on the winning track. In head-to-head -head matches, they have been dominant here. Uh, they are fighting uh, for that second spot. They are fighting to stay in the Champions League spot in La Liga this season, and uh, like I said, they are now facing one of the worst teams on the road. Uh, the team that has been conceding uh, on average over two goals per game on the road and uh, I think that Real Sociedad gets the job done here which is why I decided to go with uh, Real Sociedad minus one that's an Asian line at minus 139 which basically means that if Real Sociedad wins by one goal we are getting a push if they win by two or more uh, we are getting this win at minus 139 so I'm taking Real Sociedad at minus one at home and in the final game of the day in La Liga, guys, we have Barcelona hosting uh, Sevilla. And it should be a very interesting matchup because uh, both teams have been playing uh, quite well as of late. We know that uh, Barcelona is by far the best defensive team in the league. They have kept, I believe, 15 or 16 clean sheets uh, so far this season. Uh, on, they conceded only 7 goals. They have scored 39 goals. They are at the top of the table with 50 points. And... Uh, Sevilla, they were able to string together a few positive results, get a few wins, and uh, they are finally out of the relegation zone. Sevilla has quickly climbed the standings to that 13th place, uh, but uh, there is a long way still ahead of them. And I believe that uh, Europe is out of their minds right now. All they want to do is uh, get as far away from the relegation zone as possible. Head-to-head uh, -head games uh, have been on Barcelona's side, of course, by much, and Barcelona still undefeated at home this season with seven wins and, and two, two two draws. And on top of that, when playing at home against Sevilla, they haven't lost in their last 17 games. Like I said, Sevilla has been gaining momentum. They have been playing better, scoring goals, defending a bit better as well. But uh, Barcelona has been creating a lot of chances. Even though it doesn't seem they have been scoring a lot of goals because if they uh, get a 1-0 lead, they will not push forward as much as uh, you might be used to seeing them. And uh, they have been criticized because of that. But uh, I think that Xavi is doing a smart thing because if you want to win something, if you want to stay consistent, you got to have a solid defense, which is something they have right now. So... I decided to stay away from sides, I decided to stay away from goals, and I simply decided to take uh, shots. So I'm going to take over 8.5 shots combined on target at minus 110. Uh, but I think that majority of these shots will come from Barcelona, but Sevilla in their current form is, def is definitely more than capable of uh, being a threat here and uh, giving us at least 2 or 3 shots on target. So. I think that over 8.5 shots on target is a very, very good line. And uh, at minus 110, I just can't miss this price, guys. That's it, guys. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, we have four La Liga games on schedule on Sunday. Uh, I will definitely be tuning into those. Uh, check out the rest of the free picks up on the Pignogs YouTube channel. And for my best bets, uh, click the link in the description of this video. That will get you to the Pignogs website and my page there. You can see what I have up there. Uh, get one of those passes and uh, let me make you some money, guys. That's it. Good luck with your bets and I'll see you soon with more free winners.